Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I hope you guys are doing well. So it's been too long I'm making this video. So I was just going through the newspaper and uh, the news articles and then I thought of sharing uh, the news with you. So this, this news might not be something that is new to you. You might be knowing about it if you're working in IT sector. Okay. So uh, in my previous video regarding uh, recession in the IT sector in India, I discussed like uh, we are a bit far away from the recession because uh, as of it seems we are uh, nowhere close to the relaxation in the IT market. Uh, this layoff seat is increasing more and more. So I'm just going to discuss some of the articles about uh, the layoffs. I will be also discussing like how many companies are there which are like uh, laying off the employees more frequently. And uh, we can also discuss like uh, what is our position in India and how we can overcome it. So see, before discussing the problem, I want to discuss the solution. So the first thing uh, you are there in the IT sector so avoid switching your job before 2023 first quarter which is april or may so uske pehle aapko switch nahi karna hai because uh, wherever you are going you'll be treated as a new employee or agar unke paas uh, in case of cost cutting ki baat aayegi to pehle new employee ko hi fire kiya jayega so uh, that is one thing you need to take uh, into the consideration and uh, make sure you are following the second thing is uh, uh, either you have been laid off uh, or uh, like uh, you are in a position where you are not feeling confident of your position then uh, it's better to upgrade your skill make more connections so like uh, go to linkedin and uh, make sure you are making connections you are building some new connections if you are in the bench in your current company then make sure you are getting into the project as soon as possible because uh, uh, bench is not the safest place to be as of now so I was just uh, going through the news article and it says uh, we are seeing the largest layoff of 2022. So as of now you might be knowing that Twitter has been uh, taken over by Elon Musk who, was, or who is the CEO of Tesla Group. So basically uh, as soon as he joined or taken over the organization as the CEO he fired the top management as well as he fired 50% of the workforce. Okay, and after that, he recently fired 4,000 contract employees as well and he is forcing employees to work for approximately 80 hours a week which is quite uh, uh, beyond imagination. Uh, you cannot like work 16 hours a day if you are not animal. Apart from Twitter, there is a meta uh, that uh, was Facebook initially. But Meta is a parent company of Facebook now, so basically it handles uh, all those Facebook group of companies like WhatsApp, Instagram and all. So they have basically slashed 13% of their workforce. If I could give you the brief, uh, how many other companies are there which are also like laying off the employees Then in that. Then in that list, we have Microsoft uh, with 1000 employees as of now for the data. Snap having uh, close to 1200. Lyft about 7,000 employees, a strike around uh, 1,100, Coinbase, which is like cryptocurrency company, basically it deals with the cryptocurrency. Uh, so basically they have fired 1,100 employees, Shopify, 1,000, Netflix, 450. But among the list of this company, if you see Twitter is uh, some company who is doing some insane work. So apart from their main workforce, they also have fired contractors and they have not even informed those employees. Basically, when they come to work, they have seen that uh, they have lost access to the email and Slack. Uh, Slack is one of the channels to communicate between uh, uh, people. It's like uh, messenger only. So they, they thought like uh, they do not have any access to this uh, application. They informed to their manager and then their manager was informed that uh, these employees have been laid off. So there are some reports which claims that 11,500 uh, people have lost their jobs in India in 2022. Recently, Baizu's has announced plans to lay off 2,500 employees. Similarly, On Academy has lay off 1,150 employees, Vedant to 624. Polar nearly 500 employees and healthcare startup Mfine has lay off 600 people. So like close to 11,500 people have been laid off. And if you talk about uh, the tech IT sector, which uh, like having the companies like uh, Infosys, TCS, HCL, Tech Mahindra, then uh, there is no such thing called uh, layoff as of now. Uh, but what they have done is they have freezed their hiring 
and in some of the cases they also have revoked the offer letter from the freshers. So one thing for the employee who have been laid off. So uh, if you are not part of the Hi-Fi event like uh, Twitter or Meta, so you might have been uh, like laid off uh, in a smaller group. So what you can do is you can ask your previous employer to provide you an email or a letter stating that uh, you have not been fired, rather you have been laid off. There is no shame in uh, uh, searching for a job by giving the reason of a layoff. You are still a valid contributor a good person and you are still eligible to get a job as uh, easy as possible. So that was all from the today's session guys. We will meet up in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.